Hi, I'm Mohamed Katambo from University of Washington, and today I'm going to present our work on full duplex LoRa backscatter, which I worked on during my internship at Jiva Wireless. Backscatter is a low power, low cost, and small form factor wireless solution, which can bring ubiquitous connectivity to the billions of devices around us. To illustrate the power of backscatter, consider an agriculture farm. We can distribute cheap disposable backscatter sensors to constantly monitor the temperature, moisture, and pH levels of the soil and dramatically improve the yield of the farm. However, here is the key challenge. It is very difficult to deploy a conventional backscatter infrastructure on a farm. We need to deploy multiple readers distributed across the farm, each with their own power source, which is both expensive and challenging to maintain. However, if we can equip a drone with a full duplex reader and fly it over the field, it can communicate with the distributed backscatter sensors and collect information as it is passing by. This would significantly simplify the deployment and enable smart agriculture at scales we haven't seen before. This is the promise of our work on full duplex lower backscatter. Here is the outline of my talk. I will start with the primer on backscatter communication. To understand why putting a backscatter reader on a drone is such a challenge, first let me briefly explain how a backscatter system works. A conventional half-duplex deployment requires two devices, a transmitter and a receiver, to communicate with the backscatter tag. The transmitter emits the continuous wave carrier, the tag generates a packet by reflecting the signal at an offset frequency, and the receiver demodulates the backscatter packet to recover data. However, in addition to the backscatter packet, the receiver also experiences an interference at the adjacent frequency due to the continuous wave carrier. Half-duplex systems solve the self-interference problem by physically separating the transmitter and receiver from each other. The requirement of two physically separate plugged-in devices and the need for coordination across three instead of just two devices is a major limiting factor, especially in use cases with limited infrastructure, such as the farm mentioned earlier. To resolve these issues, we need to combine the transmitter and receiver into a single device, which both generates the carrier and decodes the backscatter packet. We call this the full duplex backscatter reader. This would bring the backscatter deployment on par with conventional wireless systems wherein two devices communicate with each other. It's important that when we, it is important that when we bring the transmitter and receiver in a single device, we do not significantly degrade performance and system characteristics when compared to a half duplex system. We need to ensure that the communication range is not sacrificed. In this work, we have used the LoRa standard which allows us to achieve long range in the order of 150 to 300 feet. The cost of a full duplex system should be close to two half duplex systems. And finally, the system should maintain a small form factor so it can be fitted in a mobile system or mounted on a drone. So in summary, our goal is to design a long range, low cost and small form factor full duplex backscatter system. Next, I'm going to talk about the key challenge associated with building a full duplex backscatter reader. The key challenge is the strong interference from the transmitter to the receiver, which is now only a few centimeters away. We have the transmitter and receiver, and we would like to share an antenna between them to minimize the form factor. The interface between these three should allow the transmit signal to flow to the antenna and receive signal to flow to the receiver. The transmitter outputs a signal up to 1 watt or 30 dBm to achieve longer range, while the receiver sensitivity for our LoRa chipset could be as low as minus 134 dBm. The key problem is that the strong transmit signal leaks to the receiver input. The transmit signal could be 16 orders of magnitude stronger than the received signal, and even a tiny fraction of it can degrade the receiver performance. So, how much cancellation do we need? We have two signals, the backscatter signal and the carrier signal, which are separated by the offset frequency. The required cancellation depends on the receiver sensitivity and blocker tolerance. We, con we conducted a thorough analysis of the LoRa protocol in backscatter settings and determined that we need 78 dB self-interference cancellation to minimize the loss in receiver sensitivity. 78 dB is a very deep cancellation. To get a better sense, it means that we need to suppress the transmit signal by a factor of 63 millions before it reaches the receiver. There is also a second requirement for cancellation of phase noise at the receive frequency, which is detailed in the paper. Next, I explain our full duplex backscatter system. Our solution uses a hybrid coupler to isolate the transmitter and receiver. Hybrid coupler is a four port device that divides the signal at each port between two adjacent ones. Ideally, the transmitter output only divides between the antenna and passive ports. In practice, we also have leakage through the coupler and reflections from all these ports. We would like these undesired signals to cancel out each other at the receive port. However, these reflections could vary. 
Especially, the reflection from the antenna changes as the environment around it change. Without tuning, we could achieve only 10 to 30 dB cancellation from this architecture, which is far less than the 78 dB requirement. The solution is to actively change the passive impedance to tune its reflection, such that it cancels out the other signals in the receiver input. We leverage the computational power of a low-cost microcontroller to get a feedback from the receiver and tune the passive network in real time to achieve this deep cancellation. The cancellation depth depends on how accurately we can tune the impedance and control its reflections. To get deep cancellation, we need very fine control over the tunable impedance. We use the ethmis chart to visualize the variation of a tunable impedance network. In this chart, I have plotted circles that correspond to specific cancellation thresholds for one antenna impedance. Our target area is the green circle in this zoom plot where we achieved greater than 78 dB cancellation. If our tunable impedance is outside the target circle, we achieve lower cancellation than the requirement. Here is a tunable impedance architecture with four tunable capacitors that can be used. If we plot the possible impedance states close to our target zone, we can see that none of them hit the target area. We can achieve at best 48 dB of self-interference cancellation using this architecture, which is 30 dB or 1000 times less than our requirement. The problem is that, is that the practical tunable capacitors have limited resolution, which limits the step size of our tunable impedance. We need a finer control over the tunable impedance to achieve deeper cancellation. We observe that only a small fraction of the signal is reflected by the tunable impedance and the majority is observed in the termination resistor R. So to precisely control the signal reflected by the tunable impedance, we replace this resistor with another tunable impedance stage. There's a signal divider between the two stages, which controls the effect of the second stage changes on the overall reflection. By controlling the divide ratio, we ensure that the second stage covers the area between the steps of the first stage, while it has the fine resolution required for the deep cancellation. This plot shows the impedances that we can achieve with this two-stage solution. The blue dot shows impedance coverage when the capacitors in the second stage are stepped by 6 LSBs. We limit the step size for better visualization. If we zoom in on our target zone and reduce the simulation step size, we can see that we have multiple states that fall in our target circle. So, the two-stage network provides the, resol the resolution to achieve the required cancellation. Next, my co-author Anthony Wynand will present a demo of our system. Hi, my name is Anthony Wynand and I'm an engineer at Jiva Wireless. Today I'm going to demonstrate our full duplex backscatter system. This is the latest revision of our full duplex reader that uses the two-stage tunable cancellation network. At low volumes, this reader costs less than $30. This is a mere 10% greater than the cost of two half-duplex readers, which is a very modest increase, especially when considering the advantages of a full duplex system. Here I have an accelerometer tag, which uses backscatter to communicate with the full duplex reader. The accelerometer is continuously sampling and backscattering the data at a rate of 100 Hz while consuming almost zero power. We have created an application showing that rotation as a rendering of Saturn. As you can see, when I rotate the backscatter tag, the image of Saturn updates to track its orientation in real time. Our reader design supports long range operation, and here we show reliable performance at high data rates across this room. Now I'm going to discuss the evaluation of our system. First, we evaluate the efficacy of our two-stage cancellation network. To do this, we generate seven arbitrary impedances and connect them to the antenna port of our full duplex reader. These impedances span possible variations of the antenna due to environmental factors in normal operation and are represented here on the x-axis. On the y-axis, we plot the carrier cancellation with our 78 dB requirement marked by the dotted line. First, we plot the cancellation achieved by using a one-stage network. As you can see, the cancellation has a median of about 55 dB, which is far short of the requirement. Next, we tune both stages of our two-stage network, and you can see that the design surpasses the cancellation requirement in all cases. To evaluate the line-of-sight wireless performance of our system, we deployed our full duplex reader in a nearby park and moved a backscatter tag away from it while measuring performance. Here, the x-axis represents the distance between the reader and the tag, and the y-axis represents packet error rate. At the highest data rate supported by the LoRa protocol, we were able to receive data with less than 10% PER at distances up to 150 feet. As we reduce the data rate, the sensitivity of the protocol improves, effectively increasing range. At the lowest data rate, we can receive packets with less than 10% PER beyond 300 feet. 
This range is six times greater than existing full duplex systems. We also perform non-line of sight testing in an office environment, which you may refer to the paper. Finally, we demonstrate applications which can leverage our full duplex system. To demonstrate the use of our technology in smart agriculture, we mounted the full duplex reader to the underside of a cheap consumer grade quadcopter, shown here. We flew the drone at a height of 60 feet and moved a backscatter tag throughout an area underneath it, reaching lateral distances up to 50 feet, the entire time maintaining less than 10% BER. This separation corresponds to an instantaneous coverage area of nearly 8,000 square feet, and on a single charge, this cheap drone could gather data from an area up to 60 acres. We also demonstrate integration of the full duplex reader with a smartphone for health applications such as a smart contact lens. We placed the reader attached to a mobile phone on a table and set transmit power to 20 dBm to conserve power. We move our contact lens form factor tag across the room measuring performance. Here the x-axis shows the distance between the phone and the contact lens, and on the y-axis we plot the received signal strength. For this entire range, PER was under 10%. As you can see, at short distances, the RSSI is high, which can support high data rates. And as the distance increases, the signal strength drops off, but the communication link remains usable beyond 20 feet. This demonstrates the potential of using our technology to bring connectivity between smartphones and a range of devices in home and in hospital settings. In summary, we built the first full duplex backscatter reader system that can operate at ranges up to 300 feet, a distance six times greater than any existing design. To do this, we developed a novel two-stage tunable impedance network to meet the stringent cancellation requirements, notably achieving 78 dB of carrier cancellation in the analog domain. We evaluated our system in different scenarios and demonstrated real-world applications in smart agriculture and medical devices. Our work building this low-cost, low-complexity, small form factor, full duplex backscatter reader helps bring us one step closer to realizing the promise of backscatter communications in creating a more connected world. Thank you for listening to our work. You may reach out to this email for, with any further questions.